How well do you know Europe? Today we're taking you on a virtual journey from the west to the east of this diverse continent. Europe, a remarkable mix of cultures and landscapes, lies in the northern hemisphere and is home to 44 countries. Our journey will explore these nations, their capitals, and their unique flags. We'll delve into the heart of each country, shedding light on their distinct identities. So buckle up, because we're starting our journey in the westernmost country, Portugal. Our first stop is Portugal, located on the Iberian Peninsula. The capital of Portugal is Lisbon and its flag consists of two vertical bands of green and red, with the national coat of arms centered over the two-color boundary. Moving east we find Spain, where Madrid serves as the capital. Spain's flag features three horizontal stripes, red, yellow and red, with the yellow stripe being twice as wide. In the yellow stripe you'll find the nation's coat of arms. Next we have France with Paris as its capital. The French flag known as the tricolor consists of three vertical stripes of blue, white and red. Bordering France to the north is Belgium, with Brussels as its capital. The Belgian flag mirrors the French tricolor but with vertical stripes of black, yellow and red. To the northeast of Belgium, we find the Netherlands with Amsterdam as its capital. The Dutch flag comprises three horizontal stripes of red, white and blue. Lastly we arrive in Germany, where Berlin stands as the capital. The German flag features three horizontal stripes of black, red and gold. The black represents determination, the red symbolizes bravery, and the gold stands for generosity. From the Brandenburg Gate in Berlin, Germany we now head further east. We continue our journey eastwards, starting with Poland. The capital of Poland is Warsaw, and its flag is a simple one. Two horizontal bands of white and red. This flag is a symbol of courage and peace reflecting the country's rich history. Moving on, we cross into the heart of Central Europe, the Czech Republic. Its capital, Prague, is known as the City of a Hundred Spires. The Czech flag is a unique design of two horizontal bands of white and red, with a blue triangle extending from the hoist side. Next, we venture into Slovakia, with its capital, Bratislava. The flag of Slovakia is a striking tricolor of white, blue and red. An added touch is the national emblem on the left side representing the nation's resilience and unity. Our journey takes us next to Hungary, with Budapest as its capital. Hungary's flag consists of three horizontal bands of red, white and green. This tricolor flag is a symbol of the country's strength and endurance. We then head to the southeastern part of Europe, to Romania. Its capital, Bucharest, is known as Little Paris. The Romanian flag is a vibrant tricolor of blue, yellow and red, symbolizing liberty, justice and fraternity. Next we reach Bulgaria, with Sofia as its capital. The Bulgarian flag, a tricolor of white, green and red, represents peace, agriculture and the brave history of the Bulgarian people. Finally we arrive in Turkey, a country that straddles both Europe and Asia. Its capital, Ankara, is the beating heart of the nation. However, it's the city of Istanbul that often steals the limelight with its stunning skyline and rich history. The Turkish flag with its star and crescent on a red background is a powerful symbol of the country's Islamic heritage. With the stunning skyline of Istanbul, Turkey, we wrap up our eastward journey. Now that we've journeyed through Europe, it's time to test your newfound knowledge. Let's dive into our quick quiz. Question 1. Which country in Europe is known as the land of the midnight sun? Question 2. Lisbon is the capital of which European country? Question 3. What is the national flag of Italy? Is it three vertical stripes of green, white and red or horizontal stripes of blue, white and red? Moving on to question 4. Can you name the capital of Poland? And finally question 5. Which country connects Europe to Asia? No peeking at a map for this one. Remember these questions span the length and breadth of Europe, from the icy north to the sunny south, from the historic east to the vibrant west. Thank you for joining us on this journey across Europe. Stay curious, keep learning and we'll see you in our next video.